Welcome to Vega in den Beruf, German for your career. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce you to German personal pronouns in the nominative case. By the end of this presentation, you will have reviewed English personal pronouns and have learned about the familiar and formal forms of German personal pronouns in the nominative case. In addition, you will have also learned how personal pronouns can be used to refer to German nouns and will have seen how you can apply what you have learned to complete the associated online course activity. Let's get started. As you see on the screen, the English personal pronouns in the nominative can be classified as either singular or plural and as either first person, second person, or third person. The singular personal pronouns in English are I first person singular, you, second person singular, and he, she, it, third person singular. The plural personal pronouns in English are we, first person plural, y'all, second person plural, a contraction of you all and a regionalism frequently found in the southern United States, and they, third person plural. German personal pronouns can be classified in the same manner. The singular personal pronouns in German are ich, first person singular, du, second person singular, and er, sie, es, third person singular. The plural personal pronouns in German are wir, first person plural, ihr, second person plural, and sie, third person plural. English generally does not have a formal form of address, although it can be approximated by adding sir or ma'am to the second person singular and plural personal pronouns, as you see on the screen. It is important to note, however, that German has a formal form of address that uses specific personal pronouns. These are Z, second person singular formal, and Z, second person plural formal. These formal personal pronouns are always capitalized. Now how do we use these personal pronouns to refer to nouns? You'll re you will recall from our earlier presentation on German nouns and definite articles that German nouns have a grammatical gender. They are either masculine, feminine, or neuter. You will also recall that the grammatical gender of a German noun determines its definite article. Masculine nouns have the definite article der, feminine nouns have the definite article d, and neuter nouns have the definite article das. Finally, you will remember that plural German nouns do not manifest any gender, and their definite article is always d. In German, the grammatical gender or number of a noun determines the personal pronoun that gets used. The personal pronouns you see on the screen all manifest gender. Er, masculine, Z, feminine, and S, neuter. The gender of the personal pronoun, therefore, can be matched to the gender of the German noun, which is manifested by its definite article. Er, masculine, third person singular, Z, feminine, third person singular, and S, neuter, third person singular. When referring to people or living things with a biological gender, the appropriate matching personal pronoun is used. For plural nouns, the number of the noun determines its personal pronoun, Z, third person plural. Let's now take a look at how we could apply German personal pronouns in the nominative case. The explanations that follow will help you to complete the related online course activity. The grammatical gender of the German noun Lebenslauf, or resume, is masculine, and the number of the noun is singular. If you were to see the definite article of the noun here, it would be der. Since Lebenslauf is a masculine singular noun, the matching personal pronoun needs to be used, er, masculine, third person singular. The grammatical gender of the German noun Postleitzahl, or postal code, is feminine, and the number of the noun is singular. If you were to see the definite article of the noun here, it would be D. 
Since Postleitzahl is a feminine singular noun, the matching personal pronoun needs to be used. Z, feminine third person singular. The grammatical gender of the German noun photo or photograph is neuter, and the number of the noun is singular. If you were to see the definite article of the noun here, it would be das. Since photo is a neuter singular noun, the matching personal pronoun needs to be used. S. Neuter third person singular. Finally, the German noun Kinder has no gender as it is the plural form of a neuter singular noun Kind or child. If you were to see the definite article of the noun here, it would be D. Since Kinder is a plural noun, the matching personal pronoun needs to be used. Z. Third person plural. This concludes the presentation on German personal pronouns in the nominative case. Be sure now to test your knowledge by completing the related online course activity. Wege in den Beruf is a production of German studies at Elon University. The course is released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.